Vince. Hey, I'm Gabrielle. I'm the executive director of um, Fooding Hong Kong. And I want to welcome you all, firstly, <laughs> to this wonderful edible garden that's here on the rooftop of Confucius Hall. Um, but to our first Feeding Hong Kong Confucius Hall community lunch. So we're, we're delighted to have you all here today. Um, so Feeding Hong Kong, we're a charity that has a mission to, to feed people in need and reduce waste to landfill, to reduce the amount of good food that's being sent to landfill. So you're probably thinking, why have we built a garden? Um, so there's a very good reason for that, and it's, it's really to increase the amount of fresh vegetables that we can deliver to the, the charities that we work with, um, and for us to be able to complement those that get donated to us every single day. Um, so the types of vegetables that come through to our food bank are things like tomatoes and peppers and potatoes and cucumbers. What we generally don't get are things like beautiful Chinese leafy greens. So that's really why you're seeing this type of vegetable being grown in the, the garden here. Now we've had some wonderful student um, tour guides who've been going around. So if you do have any questions about the garden, about the, the types of vegetables, they're hiding at the back there. Um, but after, after lunch, if you, you'd like to, to get a bit more of a tour, please feel free to, to grab one of the students. Um, now today, it's very special for us at Feeding Hong Kong because it's not often that we get a chance to, to bring all our friends together. And, and that's what we're doing today. So we've got representatives not only from Confucius Hall, the staff, the, the students, as well as representatives from, from other schools. Um, we've got many of our volunteers. Um, as well as um, many of our, uh, our financial partners, our sponsors as well. So, so we really want to thank everybody who's come together today. Um, now, I would love to, to go around and, and say what every single one of you have done because you've all contributed in, in so many different ways to, to feeding Hong Kong. Um, but I'm standing between you and lunch, so I'm going to keep this a little bit short, but I do want to say some special thank yous. Um, and first and foremost, it has to be to Confucius Hall who, when we first came to them with this idea of, of building an urban farm on their, their rooftop, they, they didn't hesitate. They, they welcomed us with open arms and they've been such a wonderful partner. Um, I've been so passionate about the project and so committed to, to ensuring that it continues. So, so our sincere thanks to, to Confucius Hall. Um, I also want to thank Tesco. Um, so Tesco, the, the, the partner that, that provided the financial support that allowed us to, to build this garden. Now, I'm very happy that, that later on we've got um, Christoph from, from Tesco who's going to come down and share a little bit more about how they support Feeding Hong Kong um, because as well as providing the financial support that, that allowed us to build this garden, they've been amazing volunteers and that includes actually helping build this. Now we have to, to carry up 10 tonnes of soil up onto this rooftop <laughs> and as I'm sure you noticed there's no lift. So that was uh, quite a feat um, that many of the Tesco staff got involved in. Um, but in addition to Tesco, they weren't the only ones. So we've got representatives today from, from the other, other corporate groups that, that really rolled up their sleeves and got involved in building the garden. Uh, so we've got DLA Piper, we've got Lexus Nexus, we've got James Lang LaSalle, uh, we've got HKU and, and many, many others that, that, that got involved. It was, it was actually over 100 people that helped us build this garden over the course of a couple of days. Um, Next, I would like to thank our chefs in the community. Over here in the, the back corner, so we have the wonderful Lachie and her team from, from Love True Food who have cooked up a delicious veggie feast for us, which we're going to enjoy very shortly. Um, and then we also have Max and his team from Secret Ingredient um, who are going to be doing a demo for us. So they're going to show us a, a delicious dish that can be made using veggies such as those that we're, we're growing in the garden. Um, and, and why we've welcomed these chefs here, this is part of our Chefs in the Community programme, which is all about working with our charity partners to help them make the most of the ingredients they deliver, to give them cooking tips, to give them nutrition knowledge. Um, and we hold things like cooking classes out in the community centre, uh, where we host demos such as Max and Secret Ingredients are going to show us today. And last but not least, I would like to thank our charity partners. Now we're really happy to have such a large group of you here today. Um, it's not often that we have the opportunity to, to, to invite you to come and join us for lunch. So we're really happy that so many of you um, were able to join us. Um, so we have Bethune House, we've got Christian Action, Hong Fuk, St. James' Settlement and, and We Care. Um, so thank you so much. We really couldn't do what we do without you. It's only with your help that we're able to ensure that, that any of the food that's donated to us 
goes to help people in need. So thank you. And on that note, I'd like to invite Principal Young yeah. to come up and say okay. a few words. Sure. <laughs> well, I don't have the paper of speech here. It's really a soft speech. Um, the honors both class and teacher, principal, and student. First of all, I would like to say thank you very much to the Feeding Hong Kong. Um, we have jointly managed our event uh, in May, right? Uh, uh, after the event, I have talked to my students what they have learned from the event, and they told me that they save food. It's wonderful. And then they know that the lecture environment is very important to us. So they will say that uh, I will preserve the green planet. So you are not just enjoying the meal, you are educating my students. I strongly believe that the urban concrete and the liberal garden will integrate harmonies. So take this chance to enjoy uh, the vegetable from my students. Thank you.